Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Weekend Preview right here on our YouTube channel The Ball Is Run and although I might be talking um, so happily right now I'm actually pretty tired because there is so much football going on in the world of sports today and this week and I just don't know how to keep up but we're here for another episode of the Weekend Preview and before we start remember to subscribe to our channel to like this video and to comment down below your predictions for the matches I'm about to discuss now that the prelims are done let's get right into the action so we're going to start today with the Bundesliga which heads into match week 6 this weekend and our feature match actually includes a team atop of the Bundesliga table that's RB Leipzig and they'll be travelling away to Borussia Mönchengladbach. These are two teams that are European contenders. Both are playing in the Champions League right now and they have very good attacks and very good teams of course on Mönchengladbach's side have Alisson play and Marcus Turam who actually linked up very well this week in their 2 all draw against Real Madrid however I just don't think they have the quality that RB Leipzig have RB Leipzig has players all across the park in my opinion of course their attackers Yusef Poulsen, Forsberg, um, Sabitza, Nkunku in the midfield they have various players that can play very well in that position the wing backs are very good especially Angelino on the left hand side and at the back they have the big beast Upamecano he's such a good player at the back in my opinion probably one of the best defenders in the world at this young age that he is and these two teams are just very good but RB Leipzig have the better team I'll be expecting them to win in their most previous game the two teams had a 2 all draw but in the most recent game at Munchen Gladbach's home stadium RB Leipzig came away with the win so as I said before, I'll be expecting Leipzig to come away with the victory for this game. Now we move on to La Liga and before we go into the feature match for this weekend, I just want to say my condolences to all Barcelona fans after their 3-1 loss in the El Clasico last weekend. I watched the match and Real Madrid teeth out your side man but anyways, the competition continues but our feature match is not as big as last week's game. As this week we have Osasuna hosting Atletico Madrid, two teams in the top half of the table right now. Atletico of course one of the only unbeaten teams in La Liga right now after playing five games. And they have been combining well especially their front two of João Felix and Luis Suarez who came from Barcelona. I think Atletico have a very good team with decent players. And they won this week in the Champions League. But of course, their captain Koke says that they have things to improve on. And we can see that in this Atleti team. But as the season goes on, I think they'll be a title contender as they usually are. But of course, I don't think they'll get close to Real Madrid and Barcelona. But of course, they're a team to be reckoned with. In the last game between these two teams, however, Atletico Madrid actually destroyed Osasuna 5-0 earlier in June. And I expect them to do the same here this weekend. Probably not the same 5 nil, but to get the victory against this Osasuna side who just doesn't have the same talent that Atletico, a big club like Atletico has. So I'm expecting an Atletico win this weekend and they will remain unbeaten after six games. Serie A is also in match week 6 of their competition and I have to say Serie A is producing some very good matches week in week out especially Monday gone where AC Milan and Roma drew and Roma is actually in our feature match again this weekend as they will be hosting Fiorentina another one of those classical Italian matches both teams are equally matched in my opinion both of them um, currently sit right above and below each other whichever way you take it and they have two pretty decent sides but not sides that I'll be expecting to contend for the Serie A title but of course they have very decent players two players to watch out for of course are Lorenzo Pellegrini and Roma side and also Gaetano Castrovilli both very good playmakers for their respective sides and they will be controlling the middle of the park for these two teams um, Roma actually won both Serie A encounters last season and that's why I'll be expecting them to win this game. No, I won't be expecting them to win this game. I think because they're evenly matched, it will be a draw game between the two classical, historical Italian teams that have very good players 
but are not contending for the title in my opinion this season. Finally, we move on to the Premier League which is now into match week 7. The best league in the world as I say every week. And we have two um, feature matches for the Premier League this week. And we're going to start with the lesser one which is Leeds taking on Leicester. And this is going to be an exciting game. Not two well-known teams across the world. But two teams that have very exciting players in their squad. Leeds, of course, have the extraordinary Bamford who keeps scoring. Um, scored a beautiful hat-trick against Aston Villa in last week's game. Stoned Aston Villa actually and they're proving to be a team to look out for in the Premier League this season. But of course, Leicester has my one of my favourite strikers in the world right now. Is Jamie Vardy such a good striker people will not like him but he's one of the best in the world in my opinion and these two teams are going to go at it the key matchup of course Bamford against Vardy who will score the more goals um but my predictions for this game however I think Leicester are a little too inconsistent so far this season I know Vardy was injured a few weeks ago and that may have hampered them and I think that without Vardy I don't think Leicester has much of a chance because I don't see them scoring goals without Jamie Vardy so it's going to be hard for them to keep the consistency but with Vardy back they'll put up a challenge however I'm going to have to go with Leeds for this game I just think they're such an exciting team when I watch them play they counter attack very well they have the speed up top and they press the ball they pressure and they're they're just fearless in my opinion as a promoted team they'll go after the ball they'll go for the goals they'll go for the win that's why I'm going to take them to win the game this weekend. Actually, they play Monday, actually. Monday coming. So, when they play Monday, I'll have Leeds taking the victory against this Leicester side. Now, for the more prominent game this weekend in the Premier League. And it's another top six clash. But these two teams, again, are not in the top six. They're both in the bottom half of the table. And, of course, this is Manchester United hosting Arsenal at Old Trafford and I just don't think this game is going to be as exciting as the Leeds Leicester one because of course those two teams have teams that will actually press the ball and go after the game but this game actually might be exciting however why I say it might not be as exciting is because of the two teams performances last weekend Manchester United play, played out a nil all draw against um, Chelsea of course and Arsenal looked very lackluster against Leicester, especially in that se second half last weekend where they lost. But this is going to be a good game. Don't get me wrong, this is going to be a good game. The most recent result, Arsenal had a 2-0 victory against Manchester United earlier this season. But that was at Emirates Stadium. This game is at Old Trafford. And it's a new season. And Manchester United are looking like a different team after their kind of disappointing start to the season with losses against Crystal Palace and also against Tottenham Hotspur but this should be a good game but let's go in depth with the two teams now Manchester United my opinions on Manchester United especially Ole Gunnar Solskjaer I think this manager is a fraud and as a Man City fan I will say that because I just don't think he knows how to manage a club he has the players but he will not start my guy Van de Beek. Van de Beek was bought by Manchester United in this summer transfer window and he has just gotten a start today because the Manchester United match against RB Leipzig is actually playing right now um, but he just got a start today he hasn't started in the Premier League as yet and in my eyes if you buy a player for so much money why are you not starting him this guy can pass the ball and is pretty good defensively when he is needed to be and he can add a spark to that Manchester United side. And if you're not starting him, what was the point? As Patrice ever said on a sports show the other day. What's the point of buying Van de Beek if you're not going to start him? I am completely flabbergasted as to why Ole will not start this guy. But as we go into this match, the key player for Manchester United obviously has to be Bruno Fernandes. He's going to be key for them. Um, didn't play that great of a game in my eyes against Ch Chelsea the other day but if he is on the ball and if he is passing the ball spreading it around in this game against Arsenal the Gunners will have no chance against this Manchester United side 
Also, of course, Edison Cavani coming off the bench last weekend. He will be a threat more so coming off the bench as I expect Martial and Rashford to be starting more often than himself. Um, but Cavani, very dangerous um, coming off the bench. That's what I expect him to be doing coming off the bench most of the time. And Arsenal should be wary. Now on Arsenal's side of things, their display against Leicester was absolutely poor. Um, did not take the chances in the first half of that game. And of course, in the second half, they were pretty la lackluster as a complete unit, as a complete team. They need to improve if they want to be a title contender. Well, probably not a title contender for this season, but a contender for the Champions League spot. They got out to a good start this season, but are now three wins and three losses in the Premier League and they need to improve and this man Danny Ceballos I just don't think is the man for Arsenal in that midfield of course Arsenal were trying to get our from um Olymp Olympic um Lyonnais um but they didn't get him and they're stuck with Ceballos they're obviously not going to be starting um Ozil so they're stuck with Ceballos and he's pretty inconsistent in my opinion if he's not passing the ball what is he doing in that midfield i just don't see him um producing anything for arsenal arsenal's main option is obamyang and if obamyang does not have a good game arsenal are not going to have a good game of course it's our last week he didn't really have a good game i think leicester did pretty well against him um in his place so He's going to have to step up against Manchester United. But the key matchup here in this game is Wan Bissaka against Aubameyang. Um, Wan Bissaka is on some pretty good form so far this season. And I think he's going to match up pretty well against Aubameyang. Aubameyang is going to have a tough time. But of course, the best strikers in the world get it done. And I need to see Aubameyang be the best striker in the world if Arsenal is going to win this game. However... I don't think Arsenal is going to win this game. I'm going for a Manchester United win. That's a second time in in two weeks that I'm going for a Manchester United win. But I just think that they're on the high road. They have the, the momentum going into this game. And I think because they're playing at Old Trafford, because they have the momentum, they will take the victory against this Arsenal side. So those are our feature matches for this weekend. Remember to go and check them out and comment down below your predictions for the matches this weekend. I really want to see what you guys think will happen in the matches in the top leagues in Europe. Before you go, remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed as yet. Turn on the notification bell to keep up to date with our videos that are posted. Follow us on our platforms on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And go and check out our podcast. The link for the podcast is down below. We have some very interesting topics coming up. Especially one coming up this weekend as we speak about Bartomeu um, resigning as head of the Barcelona FC board. So go and check out our podcast to come. But thanks again for watching. I am Aaron Smith, your host. This was a weekend preview. And have a good rest of the day.